kids i hope you all are fine today we are going to start chapter so read and enjoy chapter 8 a visit to france read and enjoy it was a summer morning in may a bright silver and blue jet aeroplane landed at charles de gaulle airport outside paris france Mrs and Mr Roy with their two daughters Nikita and Chitra stepped out into the warm sunshine The Roy family had come from India to spend a year in this beautiful country Mrs Rao had come to study the French perfume business for the Indian government while Mr Rao would train himself as a chef Nikita and Chitra would study in a French school. As the taxi took them into Paris, Mr. Rao started to tell his daughters something about France. It's about one fourth the size of India, he said. It's among the largest country in Europe. Russia is the largest. Mr. Rao went on saying that unlike India, France is not crowded. There is plenty of room for everyone. There are forests and farms in France. The soil is fertile and sea surrounds much of the France. So, one can't find short of good fresh vegetables, fruits, grains, meat and fish to eat. France has snow-capped mountains called the French Alps. France also have broad rivers and plains. where the cattle graze on luscious grass dairy farming is also popular as the french love cheese it is a part of their diet on sunny hillsides juicy grapes from the vine arts are harvested and pressed into wine for which france is famous added mrs rao there are also many large cities and factories in france The country has almost everything that people need for a comfortable and happy life. Suddenly, Chitra pointed and said excitedly, "Oh, look! There stands the amazing Eiffel Tower. It really just like it does on postcards." "Yes, you are absolutely right, Chitra," said Mr. Rao. The Eiffel Tower is a symbol of France just like the Taj Mahal is a symbol of India. Paris is a very beautiful old city. The white stone buildings in the city gleam in the sun. The people love the outdoors especially the parks and gardens. There are parks with ponds where the children sail toy boats. In some of parks One can find rows of trees and flowers everywhere. Some of the trees are so trimmed that they look like huge green lollipops. The city is well maintained. That is why people of Paris are proud of their city. This is one of the main reasons why tourists get attracted to visit this city and speak highly of it. Paris is the largest and capital city of France. Most highways and railways in France connect to Paris. Many people in other parts of France and the world often dress according to the fashions of Paris. Mrs. Rao said that she had read somewhere that when Paris sneezes, the rest of France catches a cold. Her family laughed. The Royce taxi crossed a bridge over the Seine. The river that winds through Paris like a wet grey ribbon. They got out of the taxi and joined the people on the crowded city. They went past sidewalks cafes where people sat at little tasks outdoors, eating, drinking and talking. There was much to see in Paris. and mr rao took the family to visit musee de l'ouvre one of the finest museums in the world a few week passed the roys left to visit the rest of france first they visited normandy and brittany two of the oldest part of the country nikita and chitra knew that brittany is a peninsula 
and that part of Normandy is a peninsula too. That is, the land reaches out into the sea. The Roy family found this part of the country very cool and pleasant. Sometimes there were storms from the sea and almost every day it rained a little. The people live here are mainly farmers and fishermen. They seem a little old fashioned. They had no interest in trying some new things like that of the people in other parts of France. The Roy's also never missed the opportunity to visit the old seaports. The picture of olden days fashioned in their eyes as they knew that long ago. Soldiers and colonists had sailed from there using the wooden sailing ships. During the end days of World War II, big guns had thundered there. Bombs had exploded and bullets had ripped through the trees and gardens. However, this time when the Roy family visited the place, the sea coast and countryside looked calm and very peaceful. I hope you enjoyed this chapter. We will meet in the next chapter. Thank you so much.